stop losing grip. Understood. Can you box next lap, Casper? Box next lap. No. I need to come in. Oh, it's quite bad. We've got Aiden coming in now. Just hold out one more lap, please, Casper. Is he a lap down? Yes, he's uh, on a different strategy, though. Haven't I got priority? He's boxing now. Please hold off, Casper. Fine. Nope. I'm all over the place here. I'm coming in now. Must have been pretty urgent for Aiden, eh? Please be patient, Casper. There goes another place. And another. Okay, let's go, let's go. See if you can get a few places back, please, Casper. Come on in. is 1.9 seconds. Five laps of fuel remaining. Gap ahead is 2.0 seconds.
There's three laps of fuel remaining. Our gap to the car in front is 15.2 seconds. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. They're on old softs, they're in 18. The time last lap was a 1.39.8. There's only one lap of fuel remaining. All right, race over. Take care of the car on the way in. An interesting little encounter between Ackerman and Jackson in the pit lane, and might that cause more friction behind the scenes? Ackerman sounded pretty angry on the radio, didn't he? Told to box the next lap, but he came in anyway. That's not the decision of a man thinking clearly. Is he bringing his personal grievances onto the track? I think he could be. They denied each other a significant number of points last season, and if today's anything to go by, those issues look like continuing. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. So that was an exciting race from our perspective. Let's have yours. Congratulations on a tough race today, Casper. To all of us watching, it seemed as if there was some sort of clash in pitting strategy. Can you talk us through it? Well, it's unfortunate, but these things happen. I felt the tyres begin to go off and 
realized I needed to come in. It was a calculated risk. There's not much else to say. I pulled it back and finished the race, so no harm done. So the problem we all witnessed today was a team call and not a sign of continuing tensions again this season between you and Aidan Jackson. Well, I'm not going to lie, as I'm sure it's obvious to everyone here. Aidan and I have never really seen eye to eye, which causes some tension. But we're also professionals, so it shouldn't get in the way of our performance. I'm sure we'll work through it. Why do you ask? Well, you seemed angry on the radio with your team. People are asking if that's an indicator of a deeper issue behind the scenes. What would you say to that? Well, there's nothing to be concerned about. It's just adrenaline. You're in the middle of a race, you get hot. I can't even remember what I said. If it was, you know, colourful, then I'm sure we'll all be laughing about it later. Great. Well, that's everything. I just don't get it, Zoe. He gets to pit ahead of me, and they give his car the only new power unit last season. And he gets to go out behind me in qualifying. <sighs> this kid is a new number one driver. I don't believe that to be true. But then why does he get paid more? You're still upset about that. No. Well, I, I don't know, maybe. I just wish I never found out. It's not the money, though, is it? I'm old. You're not old. Like this again. I, I am old. For a driver, I'm old. Come on, this is your last season. You said you'd make it count. Shh. I still need to tell them. When will you? Soon. Okay. Well, in the meantime, forget about Jackson. Okay. And stop playing the victim. It doesn't suit you. All right, okay. It's Sanvort next, remember? Everyone's gonna be rooting for you. Be the guy they love. And hey. What? Be the guy I love. Well, that's... that's cute. Did you come up with that yourself? I'm a natural born charmer. Hmm. Yeah. First album's got nothing on me. You had to ruin it. <laughs>